Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I want to talk about how you start a videography company or just how it's like to be a videographer. So let's start from the beginning. How do you start? I would say the most important thing is to start because there are a lot of people which are procrastinating the whole time and they don't really start. They listen to friends, they listen to maybe family members uh, which are discouraging them from even starting. So I'd say the most important thing is just to start. I have this thing where I say, okay, what am I gonna do today? I can probably get like 100,000 subscribers. I can't get all the clients today. I can't do that, but what, what can I do today? Well, I start with just filming. I used to do music videos because in my town, I was the only person which was interested in cameras, but uh, yeah. So that's what I would say, start by filming short little videos and short films, just start small and then gradually grow, it will grow into something. Then we come to the team. Um, I think the team is very important. Uh, I've learned this because before I used to just do everything by myself. I used to film, I used to edit, I used to you know, carry everything, but with a team, it makes everything, of course, much easier. And uh, the thing which I learned this year is just to delegate, because like before, delegating work was very difficult for me. You know, As I said before, I, I used to do a lot by myself, but delegating work and, and letting other people come in and helping you at the parts which you aren't really that strong. So going over to the next thing, which I think is very important, I would say a camera. You have to have a camera uh, to film. The camera which you're using right now is the Canon C70. Uh, I, I like it because I think it's, I think this camera has all the things that I need in a camera. Um, it, was, it was pricey, of course, but think of this, right? You do not wanna, buy something cheap and then you just realize oh you need more things you know it's just gonna cost you even more money in the long run i think just buy the right camera get the right equipment already from the beginning and then you don't have to worry about the the rest uh going over to social media and youtube channels i think i think youtube when it comes to promotion and marketing is the future i think we're already here right now so if you can start a YouTube channel or Instagram page where you can show your work, that's very important. Uh, I know a lot of people which have, which are videographers, but they don't even have a YouTube channel and they don't even have an Instagram, not even a, like, even start with TikTok if you can, where you just show your work. I think it's very important for your clients to be able to see it, uh, to see your work. Uh, right now, I would say 50% of all the work which I get comes from my Instagram and it comes from my YouTube channel also. Now, this is something which I think is maybe the most important thing is things that you should think of when you're having, running a company or whatever. It's just, if you can, uh, you know, always take the money up front. And what I mean by that is just at least take 50% of what you're supposed to earn in the beginning so if something happens then you at least have that 50 percent and usually what i've noticed is if you ask for 50 percent of what you're supposed to to get and when they give that they'll be more invested in that you finish the job get a very detailed version of what the client wants and then you of course create exactly that i've dealt with like horrible horrible clients but that's a video for another day. I probably could do like a video of, of all the bad people that I've worked with. No, but I've, it's, you know, I would say it's 70, 30. And when it comes to family members, because not only family members and friends, I would say I've gotten a lot of discouragement when it comes to just me, you know, making videos and, and just trying to do something, something different. Uh, I would say don't listen to them. If you really, really are passionate about this, uh, you should you should go for it and you should, you know, try, try to try to become a videographer, you know, try to film, see how many jobs that you can get, you know, because I think that being a videographer in the in the future, that's gonna be one of the most common work because social media is just growing and more and more people are starting to buy things online. So I think it's gonna evolve the next 10 years. And of course, we're not gonna be able to even do anything without YouTube, I think in the future. If you don't start now, you know, you, it, it might grow too big for you to even start. So I'd say now is a good time to start. Now it's a good time to, to get into to the system. I think in life, the most important thing that you have to think of is just that 
you have to go your own path and you have to do the things that you actually want to do and you can't listen to other people you have to you have to go with your gut and sometimes your gut can lead you all the way to Africa you know uh, filming but I'm enjoying my time here right now I'm uh, learning a lot actually about myself and uh, yeah so uh, like comment and share if you like videos like this and I'll see you in the next video okay bye okay guys um, here is where I want to start this documentary uh, we're on our way to Africa right now we're on our way to Namibia actually um, I want to find out how my cousins and everybody are doing because I haven't seen them in a long time. So I think that's going to be very interesting uh, for my growth and uh, for this documentary to, to figure out a little bit how, how Africa is right now uh, because it's not the same Africa as I left it uh, over 20 years ago. Listen, let's start from, from, from the start because I think it's, it's very important to put things...